Well, like many families in the uh, Great Lakes area, I've got a long, rich history of a family that included engineers, lake captains, uh, and people who kept lighthouses. Yeah, well, and the Port of Toledo has a long history of having navigational aids, including lighthouses and buoys and different ways. The Maumee River is an interesting um, approach to a port. It, it drops a lot of mud and it has a lot of course changes that needed um, a lot of help for sailors to get into the Port of Toledo. Um, and so over the years, there were many different ways that they that they did that, and a lot of different people who were part of that service, like Mr. Bowman here that you see in the photo. <laughs> so I learned early on that those navigational aids were critical to how people got in and out uh, uh, of this part of the, the western basin of Lake Erie especially. Yes, and there's been a long history of engineering work on the Port of Sleeton on the Maumee River, um, specifically to develop the straight channel to get people into the port more easily and leading to the building of the Toledo Harbor Lighthouse, which is a really iconic lighthouse on the Great Lakes especially. There's not another Romanesque architecture <laughs> lighthouse um, anywhere on the Great Lakes and it's a very iconic lighthouse and for generations there were families out there tending the lighthouse and Toledoans working to help other Toledoans come into the port. Mm -hmm.